Good evening, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, what do we got going on? All right, Matt says, I've always pictured Sky as a puffer. Cute and cuddly, but will sneak attack and bite you. Yes, accurate. Big Shrimp and Steve, welcome. Dave Farrell, thank you for the send over. Lurking and mowing. All right. Paul McCarthy, welcome. Diane, welcome. How is everybody doing? Let's see here. What do I have? Um, so at some point in time, I want to try feeding the super cichlids freeze dried black worms to these guys, the pea puffers. Um, do that in a little bit. I want to try that. Hello, Steven, SC Cat House. Welcome. I uh, just opened them up. I haven't fed them yet, so I want to try that. I uh, got some cucumbers yesterday. I ate half of one, and I gave the other half to the fish. Um, the plecos devoured. It was freaking insane. Um, Alshon, welcome. They, uh, I, I gave them the biggest piece, knowing that they love it. And they just devoured it. Uh, I gave another small piece to the PBLs, yellow neos, and their snails in there. And they did pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have to remove any from that one. They did pretty good with that one. The tangerine tigers and uh, pygmy quarries did not eat that much of theirs so i took that one out and gave the leftovers from that to the plecos tonight um and they're already going to town on that um in fact it's almost gone it's been in there for less than an hour uh so they're doing good with that and then i do still have a piece in with the limia perugia uh they're picking at it but i'll end up taking that out as well and I'll give that probably to the Plecos. So that was fun to uh, have them eat and all that. Yeah, I try to change up their diet. I go, I give algae wafers. I give the different crayfish empire products. Um, and then uh, change it up a little bit. Give them some cucumber. I... What else is going on? Let me think here. I just mixed, it's been a couple weeks, but I just mixed a batch of brine shrimp, uh, baby brine shrimp tonight after dinner. And, and oh, the sun's only coming out. Um, so I want to get that going. I need to order some worms. My, uh, I, I have some of some live cultures that are still going. But they all really need to be refreshed. So I'm going to get some of those from Brianne. Um, doesn't sound like she's quite ready to sell Red Wigglers yet. Uh, so I'm going to probably get some of them off of Aquabid. And then um, the uh, I'll get some more stuff at the Clash as well. Just to keep everything going. Um, do you have a favorite hatchery for Brian Shrimp? And welcome, Coro. And yes, I do. Um, the Aqua Vista is my favorite so far. I do have a video on it on uh, my channel. And you can check that out. That is definitely my favorite. I've tried the, um, uh, I forget the name, San Francisco Brine Shrimp DIY Patchery. Uh, it's just the base. I've tried that. Um, I tried the one that Geek Boy recommended. For my current setup, the out of all of them, the Aqua Vista is my favorite so far. Uh, Lake to Land, welcome. Latoya, Kelly Foreman's here, welcome. Jenna P's here, welcome. Let's see, what else? So last night, 
for no reason. I think a branch hit a wire or something, but in the middle of the night, power went out. Um, I have sleep apnea, so I wear a CPAP, so I could not sleep. So I ended up using a sick day today. Uh, I slept in a little bit as much as I could. Um, the last three or four nights, though, I have not slept good. Um, the uh, work woke me up in the middle of the night. The two previous nights, that medication, I didn't sleep that good. Zen Ginger, welcome. Skeddy Nona, welcome. Bob Metal, welcome. So I was already needing a good night's sleep, and then the power going out last night, I was like, you know what? I, I took a screenshot of the power company saying that I have no power and uh, sent an email to the boss. The... Um, so I slept in for a bit, stayed in bed even longer. There's more baby Limias. Wow. Um, they just never stop. <clears throat> so I had a productive day, though. It was good. I uh, cleaned up a little bit, did a bunch of class stuff, made dinner, uh, went over to the pharmacy, picked up some water. I finished setting up the tank for the oopy loopies I, i'll some year i'll remember how to say their damn name um finished setting up that tank and uh got a couple other things found my hydrometer i think i got the salinity about to where it needs to be i topped off a bunch of tanks i topped off what one one two three four five six tanks i topped off today um they needed it so that's good daniel velez welcome and uh the pleco tank that i have one of the i keep one of the little hang on breeder boxes um that has the airline and all that on it and it had a big chunk of algae, hair algae in it. So I picked that out. I put it in the tank. I figure the plecos and snails will eat it. Um, pygmies or the least killy fish will pick at it. Good hiding spot for them as well. Uh, leave it in there. Next week I'll probably do a water change on that tank. It's been a while. Um, with the brine shrimp, I said that. That might be everything. I'm not sure. Let me catch up in chat. Let's see here. Kelly's going to yoga after she wakes up the dog. That's the Greg Sage one. Aqua Vista has the sole license to distribute his design. Correct. Um, oh, what's the guy's name? Alshon will know it. He just spoke at Bucks County. Uh, but yes, that is the one, and I love it. Definitely the best one I've used so far. Call them volcano shrimp. Yeah, the Hawaiian shrimp. Isn't that what it is? Hawaiian vol volcano shrimp or something? Uh, Nano Aquarium Guy, welcome. Let's see here. It's so hot, I'm having trouble shoving the pug out the door. He's just visiting. I love pug dogs. They're one of my favorites. They're adorable. There's actually a Facebook page all about pucks. I love it. My Lemmy and Prujay finally started dropping last night. About time, Bob. I know you've been trying to get them for a bit. Exciting. How long has been visiting the pug town hero? David Fisher. Yep, that's it. He worked with Greg Sage to develop it. I knew Al Shaw would remember. So, yeah, uh, Volcano Shrimp sounds like the Red Lobster special. <laughs> Funny. Nathan Hubby, welcome. All right. We got 23 people here. So let me switch cameras and um, we'll feed some of these uh, freeze dried blackworms and see how they like it.
looks like a cube. Okay, interesting. Well, this is great. You can't see him. What the heck? There we go. Here. So it looks like they're picking at it. But they're not going crazy about it. Oh, I can keep Sudamoogle, Sai, Snotter, or Sala, so yeah, yeah, whatever that word is, in with your Oopy Loopies. They are an awesome fish. They're easy to breed and pretty. In a two and a half? Oh, there we go. Look, they're starting to pick at it now. Okay, good. All right. Found another food they like. That's good. Mm. I have noticed they're kind of picky eaters. Not in a two and a half. Well, then it's not happening anytime soon. Oh, I got an email. It's Brianne's fish room. Oh, black worms. All right. Got all kinds of notifications. What is this? It's an Instagram message. What is this? I already read that. Why am I just getting a notification for it? It's dumb. Yeah. I hate technology sometimes. How big would you need a 15 gallon? Gotta get at least a 10. Okay. 
Well, that's not happening here. Once I move, I can do that. All right. They're picking at that food. That's good. These are freeze-dried black worms from Super Cichlids. Off to yoga later. Bye, Kelly. Have fun. So these things were a little expensive, and there's not that many in them. So I will feed it more as a treat occasionally, not often. Um, I normally don't buy fish food at all, really, except for uh, live cultures, because I can keep them going for a bit. But um, Or samples that I get, free samples. Um, this I did get a gift card for, so I guess kind of got it for free, but still. Uh I think it's a good snack, a good treat to add in occasionally. They seem to like it. Uh, so for these guys, so far, it's between blood worms and the freeze-dried black worms. Frozen blood worms is what I fed. But again, I don't like to... Those are two foods that I typically don't buy. Now, my live food cultures are, yeah, you know, like I said, I got to replenish them and freshen them up. They're not doing too good right now. But it's good to see these guys are having a good time with this. A couple of clash updates. Uh, as you saw on today's social media, we are still looking for people to sign up that need a ride to and from the airport big cat welcome uh we're, we're you know trying to save you guys money we have hardly had anyone fill it out though so if you need a ride please fill that out so that we can coordinate and save you some money uh if you or know of someone that is not coming to the clash but did register and they're not able to come anymore please have them email me admin at keystoneclash.com with who we who they would like the bag their goodie bag to go to we all just throw it out the window as we drive that's right now that's what it seems like um we will only be giving the goodie bags to the person that is registered or we must have an email saying who they wanted to go to. Also, the YouTube lounge. Uh, the spots are filling up. If you want to stream in the YouTube lounge, please go to the link and claim your spot. You have the link if you have met the requirements. If you have not met the requirements, you don't have the link. And even if you do, we'll delete you. Um, if you don't have the requirements, you got to meet the requirements. Do not give my goodie bag, aka Annette, to anyone. It's all mine. Um, that's for the goodie bags. Don't forget, we do have the tumblers for sale on the website. Uh, what else? The schedule is posted. We did have two or three people that might not be making it uh, that, that are vendors. So we were down to about two spots. Now we have closer to five again. So we do have spots available. That's the vendor room. Finally got in touch. You have to claim her in person then. You tell him, Jenna. Um, finally got in touch with the lady at the storage unit and we are 
probably going to get the bigger storage unit in time for the clash, which will make our lives a lot easier. Put her in a box and ship her to me. Be a lot easier if you just came to her. Um, speaking of making lives easier and set up for the clash, we are looking for volunteers. If you are willing to help in any capacity, please email Glenn. And if you go to our different social media posts, you will see Glenn's email address and you can shoot him an email. Uh, Legacy Hobbyist, welcome. Matt has a joke. Email caudalfins at gmail.com to volunteer. Yep, that's Glenn's email. Uh, let's help Matt make a joke. I love this feature. One of my favorites. Um, where is it? Geek Boys here. Welcome. So if you're willing to help, please email Glenn at caudalfins at gmail.com. There it is. How does dry skin affect you at work? You don't have any elbow grease to put it to it. <laughs> I love them. Love those. Um, so, yeah. Email him. We need help with a little bit of everything. You know, it's and a lot of some things. Setting up the fish room, breaking it down. That could be as simple as walking around with a garden hose and filling the tanks. On the train, heading home. That's good, geek boy. A little late. Um, but, you know, it could be from, if, if you're good at carpentry and stuff like that, setting up the racks. Uh, it could be as simple as connecting the airlines. It could be filling up the tanks with the water. It could be stapling the fabric that are the plastic to the racks. It could be just carrying stuff. If we throw out trash, working the welcome table. Um, if you're good at public speaking, you could be introducing this the uh, speakers and stuff like that. A little bit of everything. We we need lots of help. So please email Glenn. Um, what else with the clash? Exciting news: we are still getting registrations. So we are. Well, I think we're probably less than 10 now. We are less than 10 registrations away from beating last year's all-inclusive number, which is shocking. We are also 10 from 10 away from uh, 300 for this year's all-inclusive number, which is absolutely insane. Laura's here. Welcome. Uh, rack is done. Well, where's the videos? I didn't see any video of that. Tanks are moving tomorrow. That's exciting. Geek Boy will volunteer to follow Scotty around and annoy him all weekend. Well, it would be good to have someone walk around with me in case I need to be carried. So that's perfect. All-inclusive is 291. So we are nine away. That's exciting. I just posted the video. Would a mod please drop the link um, to LJ Shrimp video that she just posted? I think weekend day passes was 189. All right. So it's an 11 away. Sorry. I lied. It's so crazy. Scotty needs someone to hold him back when someone comes in with a wagon. <laughs> Ugh, I don't even want to talk about them damn wagons. It was interesting. Um, thank you, Jenna. We were, uh, the committee was talking, you know, and if we get this bigger storage space, our options for what we could get to take the shelving and tanks and everything back and forth from the garage to the hotel and the expo hall. Our original game plan was a small trailer and one of the committee members would just tow it over. Uh, you know, we could probably get a small trailer less than 500 bucks. No big deal. And it would be nice 
because we would be able to leave the racks loaded year round. Um, so that would be a huge help. The other thing that we are in need of are some flatbed hand carts. And um, there's the devil. Can I bring my emotional support snake if I keep it in a wagon and drag it with me throughout the event? I had someone bring a little terrier, like a toy-sized terrier the other day, trying to say it's an emotional support dog. I said, I don't care. If it is, it's still not allowed. Um, we need uh, flatbed hand carts as well. And so I was on Facebook Marketplace looking for them. And then I came across the uh, the Cushman carts and the mini pickup trucks, like the little bitch, Mitsubishis, Isuzus. Uh, I think Ford maybe made them once or twice. Um, and give you suggestions for annoying Scotty. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, what well, one of those things would be perfect, like a little miniature truck. Uh, I don't know. If I came, I would have been bringing. Brittany. Matt, I'm talking about at work. Not at the clash. Um, Geek, you might want to hurry up and email Glenn and snatch up that job before someone else does. Emotional support, gator snack. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, but one of those little electric miniature trucks would be perfect. Or like a gator or a, uh, yeah, the other thing we're talking about is like a garden tractor to tow the trailer back and forth as well. But that would be a purchase after this year um, based on how finances are. Yes, the Clash is dog friendly. She's my bad joke telling support dog. Right now, she's getting her ass kicked along with Stewie trying to pick on a cat. Oh, that's not very smart. Not very smart at all. But yeah, there's some uh, interesting little vehicle options that we could get. It would be a capital expense for sure. Uh, does the vehicle need to be street legal? Absolutely not. No, we don't want it to be. I mean, you know, we don't want to have to get it titled and inspected and all that. It would just be um, in. It would be going through a parking lot, uh, a couple thousand feet. Electric unicycles. Can they tow a trailer? Well, a unicycle. Wait, that's that's pedaling. Lord have mercy. I need something that's gonna can like haul racks. I also prefer to attend events in my boxers and shirtless. <laughs> um Like the, uh, what they use at the airports for hauling stuff around on the runway. Like that would be perfect. Something that has like a four or six foot bed, um, not very tall. So like we could fit it through a doorway and stuff like that. But if we have something like that, we could probably keep everything loaded our thing goes away in a landscape mode on the phone that's interesting that stupid hard thing goes oh okay oh to the bus oh to the bus what that stupid hard thing goes away in landscape mode on the phone of to the bus Not sure what that means. Four wheeler ATV with a trailer would probably work. Exactly. Um, 
yeah, we were thinking like a, a four wheeler, um, a Gator or Polaris side by side, a garden tractor. Um, that would work for moving the trailer around for sure. But if we got something off to the bus, oh, okay. Um, it was a separate thought. <laughs> I'm trying to follow Geek's thoughts. It's a struggle. But if we got like a, um, I mean, a Gator would work because they usually have a bed, uh, or like a Cushman cart, then we could keep like the tanks on the vehicle, for lack of better terms, and the racks on the trailer. That's a long-term goal, though. They must be getting full. They're not picking at the uh, black worms as much. But yeah, I saw, I saw some side by sides, uh, some four wheelers, some tractors, all for fi under five hundred, and then uh, the same for a trailer for under five hundred. Electric golf cart, yep. But what is the towing capacity of an electric golf cart? Like, I know a four-wheeler can do pretty decent with a trailer. Which would be pretty good. And then we also do like a lot of small trips back and forth. Um, electric high truck or tuck tuck. Google that. I have not heard of those terms. K I K E I truck. Yes. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. The uh, electric Kai truck, or however you say, K-E-I, um, that is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> People have done some interesting thing with those, with those types of vehicles. Just looking at the Google images alone, it's pretty fascinating. The stuff that they've done. The modifications and stuff like that. But yeah, one of those vehicles would be absolutely perfect. Um, <laughs> these things are interesting. I'm just scrolling through looking at the uh, all the different images. Wow. And then Look up a tuck tuck. Oh, wow. Okay. That's different. So a tuck tuck is three wheels. But yes, one of them um, would work out perfectly as well. Um, again, you know, the, the thing we got to look at is what's the towing capacity. That's pretty awesome, though. Let's see here. 
Uh, okay, back. Had to figure out dinner. Nobody wants to cook, so Mexican food it is. What did I miss? You missed a lot, Zen. A lot. You're going to have to watch the entire replay. Um, Lars says, our fire company has a four-wheeler run every year. One dealer actually loaned them one to provide emergency removal. Maybe someone would be willing to loan one for the clash. I was um, uh, look going to look into that. Yes, there's a rental place uh, that I think I might be able to get one from, at least for this year. Tuck Tuck have a motorcycle front end and motor usually. They make electric ones too. Interesting. Fish for you. Welcome. Hey there. Will there be some sort of trolley cart for the vendors to bring stuff in when they arrive? Also, what is the earliest we can set up there to start setting up? So in a couple weeks, I'll be sending out an email to all the vendors. Um, but it's, it's going to be set up is going to be for vendors starting Thursday at 2 p.m. Thursday at 2 p.m. is the earliest you can start. Um, but you'll have all Thursday afternoon and evening until I want to say it's like 10 o'clock uh, to set up. That should be a decent amount of time so that you're ready Friday morning. Or you can arrive early Friday morning if you would like. But I would recommend Thursday at 2 o'clock, no earlier. Um, as of right now, we really have limited uh, trolleys or carts available. The hotel has a few. Um, I am looking into getting some. We had one that wasn't in the best condition last year that we brought as well uh, to supplement that. But um, we'll probably have like a hand truck or two available as well. But you may want to bring something for that. Possibly. I would recommend one of those collapsible ones maybe. Um, the nice thing is there are two double doors uh, two sets of double doors that you'll be able to pull up to um, that put you right up to the vendor room itself. Uh, oh, chat jumped. There's a bunch of electric flatbed trikes and things too, but they are more expensive and less in stock. Arguably better quality, but it depends a lot on the brand. Yeah, for sure. Nathan's back. And I'm caught up. Awesome. We are looking into getting more flapping carts. Hmm. Why are people not uh, let's see so that'd be one. Two, three, five. Perfect. When does ACLC do the awards for BAP, HAP, etc.? End of year. Yes. Um, I want to say it's at the Christmas party or the very beginning of the following year. When does ACLC do awards for BAP, HAP? It's either December, January, February. I honestly don't remember. Um, part of me wants to say it's December at the Christmas party, but I also think it might be the beginning of the following year because you might go to bring stuff in um the December meeting so the award couldn't be till the following. We joined in March looking forward to that. Awesome. 
fish for you. They have a whole schedule posted on Keystone Clash social media yesterday. Yes. That wouldn't have the ACLC stuff, but for the uh, Clash, yes. That. Oh, okay. You're still back on that. All right. So, in Friday and Saturday for the vendor room. Correct. At least I think that's right. Sounds right. These little guys are doing good with these black worms. Thank goodness. Mm, junk mail, junk mail. Lots of junk mail. Active little guys. I, I love watching them. I really do. They're fun. I do not have any house updates. Um, there's nothing on the market that's in a good location. Plenty, actually, I mean, plenty and everything that's on the market is currently in the bad part of the city. At this point in time, I'd probably rather wait till after the clash anyway. The unfortunate part of it, though, well, there's a couple things. Number one, I was hoping to be settled by then in case there's any good deals at the clash. There usually are. Um... And then the other part of it is the, uh, oh, is that algae in that tank? What is that? Maybe not. Oh, looks like Java moss. Didn't even realize I had that. Um, the other thing is, is I'll probably have to get pre-approved again. Because I think it only lasts three months. Are you going to try any macro algae or anything in the uh, Oopa Loopa tank? I don't know. I have some in my saltwater tank. I mean, I'm not familiar with the different types, but 
I have saltwater plant of some type going on in there. May not be a bad idea. That should help get the tank started. Seth, what do you mean you don't know what a whoopy loopy shrimp is? You don't have them? There we go. See? Whoopy loopy. Duh. Let me go. Yo, is that light even on on that tick? I think the power outage didn't mess that up. Oompa Loompa. Exactly. See? I'm going to go grab a picture of the uh, plants in that tank and see if anyone can identify it. I read that sea lettuce and chato both survive, really. But they're really fast growers. Also, something, something, something. There's a slower growth. Okay. Cool. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to look out the window, see what all the noise is out there anyway. Suspicious. Can't remember how to get this light on, on this tank. And the cycle is definitely messed up on it. It's one of those lights that does the cycle. Um, and with the power outages, it's all screwed up. All right, let me catch up in chat, and then I'll show you the pictures. All 
I read this. Tricato died. Do you know the guy Schmitty's fish room? I don't know if you saw that rack he posts on Facebook, but I'm heading up tomorrow to grab that. Room for 18 more tents. Nice. I did not see it. Um, sea cactus, sea pansy, mermaids fan, and a few other things. I'm set for 24 now. Nice. Cody V, welcome. Are the peas eating dried or frozen blackworms? Freeze dried blackworms from super cichlids. Okay, what's this notification? Uh, whatever. Okay. And down here we got. Okay. All right, let's see if I can get these pictures. Better aquatics, welcome. I'll have to get some. They seem to like them. Yes, in the very beginning when I first started this, they were really having a good time with them. It helps if I switch cameras. Oh, come on. Stop it. So this is in my saltwater tank. I guess you really can't see well with the glare. So, I think that looks like Shada Morpha to me. Shada looks kind of like baby scrubby. Coral work. Monster Fish Gal, welcome. Bath scrub. So, can I put whatever that is in the tank? Andreas Tonki is in the U.S. If it melts, do a water change. Oh, God. You don't want to introduce a bunch of excess nutrients in the form of a rotting plant. I honestly bet you the salinity is not that different in that tank. I don't do anything to it. Um, be here.
Okay. Uh, do like half and half in a jar under a light for a few days and see how the algae does. Maybe osmotic stress is weird on plant cells. That's a good idea. I could do that. I like that idea. Let's switch back to the peas. They're better to look at. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Alshon, there are no houses to look at. Everything on the market right now is in the city. I'm thinking a garden shed, to be honest with you, Coral. It's an option. Yep. Sorry for my uh, rudeness here. I'm messaging with Andreas Tonki. He's coming to our next club meeting. Is he coming to yours soon? He's going to the Keystone Clash. He's going to be a speaker. Right now, he just arrived in... Um, uh, was it Seattle? Let me look here. He's in Salt Lake City. Sorry. He just got to uh, Salt Lake City. So for the next three weeks, two to three weeks, he's going to be in the West Coast. And then he's going to come to the Clash. And then, yes, he's going to Pittsburgh. And yes, better to message thick accent. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, I gotta stop waiting so long between mowing grass. The crap is ridiculously tall. Yeah, and it's better for the grass to cut it.
quicker as well. It makes it look better. Do you know if he has a history of letting clubs record his talks? I don't know. But generally speaking, a lot of speakers prefer not to do that. I don't know for him specifically or for sure, but I doubt it. All right. Well, I've been going for an hour. Chat has slowed down. Still 24 people, 25 people here. Thank you so much, everyone. If there's something you guys want to talk about, I'll talk, but I kind of feel bad. Just there's not even a full thing of pee puffers in the video. There's only two of them right there. Three. There's three. The other one must be towards the bottom. There wasn't much going on on YouTube, so I figured I'd do a pop-up. I don't think anyone's really going on right now. Now, next stream is co-op might begin race to start. I think they had something scheduled. Speakers like you do the same talks over. And Speakers like to do the same talks over and over again, so they don't want them recorded exactly. Uh, once it's public, the fly of listening in person lowers. Yep. What kind of substrate did you end up using for your tank? I did a uh, larger gravel. Like uh, river gravel, I guess it's called, maybe. And I put the salt in. I put the distilled water in. I thought I had some decorations to throw in there, but no. I don't know where they are. I thought I had them. Um, how up is live? Here we go. Um, yeah, so that's ready to go. Finished it today. And um, I think they're going to arrive tomorrow. I hope. I should be getting a bunch of packages for the clash tomorrow as well. Ooh. All right, everyone, thank you, and have a great night.